In this video, we're gonna figure out exactly how many calories you need to lose weight, lose fat, all that good stuff. So let's check it out. Good YouTube, it's your boy John Mango, and I'm back again representing Beyond the Iron where I'm looking to drop weekly fitness content. Sorry, I do drop weekly fitness content on this channel to help you get to those goals faster and more enjoyably. So if you're interested in doing that, then consider subscribing. Also, if you're wondering, I have no idea why I chose to put this light right here, but maybe it adds a little cool effect. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Also, once I give you the exact step-by-step -step process to figure these out and make sure that you leave this video knowing what calories you need, then what I'm gonna do at the end and is actually explained to you, very important, the different reasons why people actually don't lose fat even when they know how many calories they need to track. So stay tuned for that after I break this down for you. And with that said, it's time to break it down. So the first thing you have to understand is that this is not a one size fits all. I mean, you type in how many calories do I need to lose weight? I hope that you weren't expecting one number uh, because if not, everybody in the world would probably be in shape. Every single person is different different metabolisms, different weight, height, activity levels, occupations, all of these stuff, right? Different age. So for that reason, it's important that we tailor the amount of calories to each individual person. But don't worry, we're gonna figure out exactly how to do that for you right now. So how you figure out how many you need specifically is there's two different ways to do it. The first way is to simply go onto an online calculator, something like tde.com, I think it's called. One's uh, uh, IIFYM, go to one of these online calculators, type in your stats, answer the questions, and it's gonna spit out a number. Now, keep in mind, this number is not gonna be 100% accurate. As a matter of fact, a lot of the times it may be very inaccurate. So, that brings us to the second method, which is the one you're gonna have to go through regardless. My advice is to simply jump right into this, but that's gonna be actually tracking, actually taking your phone and going to what you eat on a day-to-day -day basis to figure out how many calories you're consuming, see how your weight's going, and then figure out from there how many calories you need to be at your maintenance weight. Now, if you want more detail about how to do that, you can check it out in this video right here. But basically, you need to start tracking your calories to figure out how many you're consuming, and based off how your weight is moving, you'll know. Are you eating more calories, less, or are you at maintenance? Ideally, you want to find your maintenance calories. So, a great place to start could be that online calculator. Go ahead and and try that, but if you're ready to spend a little bit more time, work through the trial and error right away, then I would just start tracking immediately for the next week or two. Just make sure you're monitoring your body weight, and then from there you'll have a rough idea as to how many calories you're currently consuming. So once you figure that out, what you need to do to actually lose weight and lose fat is enter what's called a caloric deficit. So that simply means that you must be eating less calories than you burn every single day. So whether you're in a one calorie deficit a day or a 1,000 calorie deficit, you're going to be losing fat over time. Now, of course, the more aggressive your calorie deficit is, meaning if you're at a thousand calorie deficit, the faster the rate of your weight loss is going to be in comparison to somebody who's on, you know, a 100 calorie deficit, for example. Now, this is important because the rate of weight loss is very important. It's something you need to keep in mind. If you lose weight too fast, on the one hand, you're going to get symptoms associated with crash diets. You're you're gonna hate your life, your quality of life will suffer, and you'll probably rebound and binge your weight back up to your current weight or even further. And on the other hand, if you lose weight too slow, you're likely not gonna be motivated enough to stick to it, and you're not gonna see the changes you want soon enough. So with that said, a good recommendation is gonna be to lose 1% of your body weight, total body weight, each week. Now, a more basic and simple guideline to follow that I like to say is roughly one to two pounds of body fat loss per week and body weight loss on the scale. So in order to achieve that, typically we're going to have to aim for somewhere between 250 to 500 calories in your deficit. Again, a thousand calorie deficit is way too much. Trust me, you don't want to go there, but 250 to 500 is a good range. So from there, you really have to determine, you know, which would you prefer? Would you prefer a faster rate of weight loss? And if you're thinking, yes, of course, well, also keep in mind 
that the faster you go, the more closer you will be to experiencing those crash diet symptoms. So extreme hunger faster, you know, less energy levels, less performance in the gym. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes the conservative way can be better in the long term. So a quick example would be, let's say you figured out that your calories are 2000 for maintenance and you want to enter somewhere between 1750 to a 1500 calorie consumption day to day. That's going to enter that deficit that I just mentioned. So just like that, now you have how many calories you need to eat on a day to day basis. But real quick, before you take off and before you put these steps into action and start losing weight just like that, understand that it's not going to be that simple. And I want to quickly go through a few key things that you need to keep in mind to actually make sure that you see the results through applying these steps. And these are the reasons why a lot of people don't. So first and foremost, make sure you don't get a rough number. You see, when people tell me they eat somewhere between 1200 and 3000 calories, that makes no sense. You need a specific number. So when I just said 1720, 1750 to 1500, well, as a matter of fact, you should choose a number. Is it 1575? Is it 1700 calories? I don't know. You pick and just pick a specific number because the more specific you are, the more likely you are to actually hit those targets and the more you know whether or not you did or didn't and whether or not you get to change something. If you try to ballpark it, if you're eating between a few hundred calories, then you will not get to your goals because it just proves your inconsistency. The second thing is you must weigh out and track all of your foods, okay? You do this on a phone, uh, you do this on your phone on my Fitness Pal application. I've got videos covering all this stuff on the channel, so be sure to check that out. You can type in my Fitness Pal John Mango for an in-depth tutorial as to how to actually do this, but you also need to use a weight scale. It's not enough to just put the foods in your phone and expect results to come. They have to be weighed out and measured specifically, accurately, and consistently. As humans, trust me, we are notorious bad for tracking or even guesstimating foods accurately. So you must do your best to crack down on that. And the closer you can get it to be as accurate as possible, the sooner, the better, and the more satisfying results you're going to see. You see, this is exactly why everybody thinks, well, I only eat 47 calories a day and I can't lose weight. Listen here, Sandy, you're eating more than half a fucking olive. So don't give me that bullshit. Seriously though, guys, that's pretty much all you need to know to figure out the exact amount of calories you need. If somebody goes out and says, oh, you are X height and X weight, you need 1200 calories. Trust me, this method is the real one. So if you found it helpful and if you're going to apply these steps right away to help you get to your goals, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, whatever else you'd like to see. I'm going to drop a similar video for those who want to gain weight very soon. So be looking out for that and refer your friends to this channel if you find that it can help them as well. Thanks again for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to see you in that next video as I always do. Thanks again. I'm out.